So we, we wrote 120,000 lines of code just for cannabis. One of the big challenges that we had is we were really interested in making sure that everybody had access to the information that we were gathering and have been gathering for years. So um, a few months ago, we finally were able to release a completely open API so that the entire industry has a good source of data to build on top of. Um, and since then, we've had hundreds of people, um, whether it be researchers or app developers, be able to use our API to start to grow their business and get an idea of, of what the overarching structure of the cannabis industry looks like so that we can all build something a little bit better together. Um, I, I thought it was an insurmountable thing with how complicated uh, cannabis is and how many different products there really are out there and how many different people are involved with it. Um, but we were able to come together with a really successful structure and um, we have a lot of people who are really enjoying it. Guys, growth is good and technological advances is what this is really all about, but do you fear or is there any apprehension that this progression can marginalize the mom and pops? For cannabis people, um, they need cannabis software and, and that goes into the user experience and, and making sure that multi-generational farmers can only press a few buttons and still be able to comply. Um, that doesn't exist in, in the SAP, you know, big business oracle world. So. Um, there, there's a lot of need for really, really specific software in the cannabis industry.